strong yeah. Tell me what you want at the dish club You know you're nasty, you know you're nasty Don't move around in my house, you try to tax Monet back to y'all with another video. Today's video is super, super, super exciting. We are live here at Magic. So I'm going to take y'all around with me. We're going to see some things, see some vendors, see what's hot, see what's not. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the vlog. Bell bottom style pants. Luxel. Luxel. So cute stuff, but so, so, so. really really good I found a lot of pieces that I like so far from a couple vendors and I've really only looked at like half of the trade show so far so we're gonna go through look at some more pieces today I'm just kind of going through sourcing seeing things that I like seeing things that I don't like 
there are a lot of vendors that i have never seen in the fashion district a lot of vendors i have never seen on fashion go or anything like that either so this is super exciting to just get informed about a lot of different vendors that you probably would not see on like a regular basis They got this little water station right here for you to get like free refills. We are taking a break, drinking some water. Kind of some of my analytics later on the presentation, but you can see real, like that show kind of didn't work. <laughs> that show did great. Why did that show work? Why did that person not work? And it's a lot of that process that's really great. Obviously, if any of you guys are on Shopify, you're getting this kind of these, this kind of data, and that's really helpful as well. And paying attention to that kind of stuff, it's a humbling process, but it's a powerful and important one because it gets everything aligned to make sure that you are moving the right track. And these Hey y'all, hey! So we finally made it back to the hotel from day one of Magic. I didn't vlog a ton. I'm gonna vlog a lot more tomorrow, so make sure you guys stay tuned for day two of Magic. But I did get some really good goodies from some of the vendors. A lot of the vendors out there were giving out like free goodie bags and different things like that. So I did pick up a goodie bag from K2. If you guys are not familiar with the vendor K2, they do, they do sell a lot of like more so like urban wear. Definitely a lot of like going out pieces, kind of like city girl type of clothing. Um, so you guys can find that there. And then I did get a goodie bag too from the McCourt list. Um, if you guys aren't unfamiliar with them, um, Rachel McCourt, she is an influencer and she is also like a marketer. And she, I believe she's a marketing coach and has a marketing agency based for like influencer marketing. So I got a goodie bag from her because I asked her a question at one of the seminars. So we're gonna unbox this stuff. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more of what I got. So let me sit you down right here. And excuse my face, y'all. It's so hot in Vegas, so. First thing that was from K2. And they asked you for your size, so I did get a size medium. So I got these little leggings. That's what they look like. This is what they look like up close. Almost kind of like a little like faux leather type of material. So who knows, I might wear these, I might not. But got those from K2. And then I also got a goodie bag, like I said. <coughs> Bless me. Hmm. I still got a goodie bag, like I said, from the McCord list, because I asked her a question. My question was, um, like, how do you know whether or not to accept the brand deal if you are an influencer and that same brand is a potential competitor or within your same industry? So, for example, let's say like Fashion Nova sent me over an email and was like, hey, we want to collaborate with you on your YouTube channel for a sponsored post. Do I or do I not accept that brand deal considering Fashion Nova is also a competitor of mine since I am a boutique owner? So that was my question. And she gave me some really good advice on that. So... She sent me this little flyer in here, but just a little bit more about like, you know, what they do. Um, looks like her book. So her book is called The Slay Fame Game, Break into Hollywood and Social Media Without It Breaking You. So I actually might read this. So got that book. And then I also got two copies of it. So who knows, I might be doing a giveaway or I'll include it in, include it in my 100K giveaway. So yeah, got that. Um, some tanning spray, not gonna really need that sis because you know my skin golden already. Um, the Salt Creek Grill, okay. A gift card for um, a place to eat here, it looks like. So I might check that out. $25 gift card for the Salt Greek Grill, $25. So thank you, Rachel. 
um, a portable charger. Uh, what else is in here? A couple other little goodies that are in here. Some lip balm. Another thing of lip balm is in here. Also a lip tinted oil. If y'all can see if it focuses on it. That. A bunch of other types of lip balms. This is a CBD hip lip balm. Another thing of lip balm. And what else is in here? This looks like some type of like pigment for like eyeshadow right here. And that's pretty much everything that was in here. I'm, most thing I'm definitely excited about is the books. And I'm really excited about the portable charger and that gift card. Because I like to eat up okay. there. So I'm going to figure out where this restaurant is located. Because it looks like I'm only going to be able to eat at it in Vegas. So I got to figure out where this restaurant is. For you guys to know, content insanity. What is, what are the six essentials? It's like crushing content that truly converts. Um, you guys bring your questions, bring your claps, and give it up for my friend, Ashley Anderson. Mm -hmm. Sandwich. I want it before it get cold. You got hands on the Good morning, guys. All right. Whew, it is so good to be back. How does it feel to be back in Vegas? Seriously. That is not excited enough this morning. Drink another cup of coffee and then let's hear it. Are you guys excited? Yes. day two of magic we are here we're here i've been doing a lot of shopping i got a couple things that are in stock right now so they will be shipping out to me like later on this week and then i got a couple things that are going to be specific specifically for black friday but i've been seeing a lot of vendors that i've been shopping with that aren't necessarily in the fashion district at all so definitely a great opportunity to meet network with other vendors as well right here they're doing some type of t-shirt stitching so there's like little sections here like little pop-up sections that have like little things that you can go through and do so yeah we are here we're here we're here and i went to a show this morning if y'all seen it i'll insert clips of content that converts Oh, just showcasing different forms of content and I actually did learn a lot so I'll be implementing a lot of those things as well but we are here day two of magic and I'll keep y'all updated I just wanted to mention to you guys who are children's boutiques there are a children's section here at magic as well so if you guys are children's boutique owners I get a lot of questions about children's clothing so they do have a section dedicated strictly to children's wear so definitely um, be sure to go through and check that out as well
y'all so i am currently at magic and i just wanted to share with y'all that i literally see the same exact dress that i bought from zara a couple weeks ago and y'all probably seen it on my instagram and look at it it's right here the same exact dress i bought from zara and i'm gonna insert the picture of me wearing the dress if it focuses same exact dress so that is pretty much it that is day two of magic my last day tomorrow and thursday i'm just gonna spend time relaxing in las vegas and then we're gonna go home get back to work so i am so excited did grab a lot of really good goodies um and i've pretty much shot with a bunch of vendors that i have never shot with there's a lot of vendors that were here that i have shot with previously but they didn't have anything unfortunately that didn't catch my eye so I am gonna go back home, do a little bit more research, contact a lot of the vendors that I did get their business cards of. Yes, yeah, so I'm so excited and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.